My name is Tamasine and I've been living with a small community called El Ensueño in Palomino, La Guajira in Colombia. And um, there we have a project um, with a foundation called Intermundos, uh, where we receive uh, international artists for residencies and also volunteers that want to participate in the project at El Ensueño to create a, a permacultural um, environment which is not just the grounds but also the social environment. Uh, we live in the Sierra Nevada about an hour's walk up the mountain and our neighbors are a family of Arhuacos on the other side of Palomino River and on this side of Palomino is a Kogi family. I'm a massage therapist and I don't charge for what I do. I, I, I give generously and I tell people to please uh, reciprocate. I, I like to call it now the economy of reciprocity because it is about receiving value and giving value and um, so I, I give generously what I have without sacrificing my health and I ask people to give back whatever value that had for them in relationship to what they feel they have in abundance and it could be money, it could be a place to stay when I'm in Medellin, it could be organic food, it could be clothes, it could be sometime down the road, maybe I'll need something. Let's just enter into community, hey? You part of my community, I'm part of your community, you needed a massage, later who knows what I'll need. My first real experience with the gift economy was living with the indigenous people in Ecuador. I um, spent uh, a lot of time volunteering in Quechua and Shua communities where we go weeks without exchange of money and living well, living happily, you know, poor families that uh, gather around the fire at night and share their days, laugh a lot, help each other. If anybody needs anything, whether you like them or not, if they need something, you serve that need. And it was a very beautiful experience. It really changed my life. And um, when I went back to Canada, you know, I went back with, you know, a lot of crafts that I bought from indigenous people and as I'm buying them in the markets and I'm seeing these poor people spending their whole days, the whole family, you know, weaving away and then selling something for 50 cents. I'm like, ah, this is not the solution, but you know, there I was buying still with the idea I'm going to, you know, sell this when I get back to Canada to pay for the trip. And so when I got back to Canada, I started preparing to open a gift shop. And in that process ran into a woman who'd been living in the gift economy and explained to me how she'd been doing it and I offered her some space in my shop to keep doing what she's doing and um, yeah, I opened the doors of a real gift shop we gave everything away. <laughs> There's just a sign in the entrance that said prices, everything is negotiable and then underneath was a list of things that we actually needed and the, the list changed and as things came we'd cross it off and it wasn't necessary that um, um, somebody um, bring me something on the list um, that if they don't have it, don't worry, someone else will bring it. If I need it, someone's going to bring it. It's, it's really an act of faith and uh, yeah, it worked really well. And from there, you know, I just did six months of that because I was having to pay a rent and, you know, money was part of it, you know. It's not uh, the gift economy for me, it's not against money. Money is a very useful tool for exchange, but I'm not dependent on it anymore. You know, I, 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 I went weeks with just 32 cents in my wallet. And because I had a garden and because I have skills and health, health is really important, um, I could always exchange and be part of uh, whatever was going on. And people kept inviting me, oh, Tamasine, will you come live uh, with us for a while? We need to do this. And you seem to be the only one that's available, you know, doesn't have a job and a commitment to um, misery. <laughs> and so, yeah, I just went from community to community, helping in different ways. I've been an organic garden for a long time and ended up helping with a, um, a women's community that were in conflict and a diversity of, of jobs available and all in exchange and uh, you know one of them was so grateful for the work I did for them they gave me their credit card and said you've got a thousand dollar limit Tamasine buy your ticket back to South America so you know it's, 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 it's a beautiful way to live I studied permaculture in a community called the Possibility Alliance 
in La Plata, Missouri in the States. And uh, this is a community of nine permanent residents that are committed to living in the gift economy and petroleum and screen free. They're pretty radical. They're surrounded by Amish, so you know they feel kind of right at home. And uh, that was really nice to see a whole community working in this way. They um, live by their needs, they live simply, and their budget for the whole year is $10,000. And at the end of the year, working in the gift economy, they always have surplus. And with that surplus, they go on uh, the hero ride, they call it. And everybody that's uh, part of the community gives a, a month of their time in community service, which is different than activism. When you serve, you just serve in whatever way that people need, without judgment. You know, you want a donut and a coffee, I don't think donuts are good for you, and you look like a pretty nervous person, you don't need coffee at 2 o'clock in the morning, but okay, that's what you want, we'll serve you. <laughs> And so they, they go off with these surplus money on bicycles dressed up in hero costumes and just whoever they meet on their path that has a need, they serve it until the money's gone. One thing that's really important for the future is regionalism, you know, including myself. Uh, people around the world flying around, checking out this project and the other. We're flying around the world to talk about how to save nature, you know, and it's time to actually just commit to a place and start forming regional economies and regional exchange and stop polluting the planet so much for our ideas. There's a lot of talk about what's going wrong and all these problems and what I've learned in my life is wherever I put my energy, that's what happens. And so let's start putting our energy and seeing the clean water, finding the, the precious places, sharing the seeds, uh, surrounding ourselves with good people. Look for the good that is here and put your energy in that and let the devil fight the devil.